Since his ascension to the throne in 1999, the Asante has been lauded for his development agenda. Otunfo has invested significantly in education and mediated political disputes between political parties. The Asandihini's pivotal role in the 2016 election contributed considerably in the political transition between the NDC and the MPP. After several years of disputes, the Asandihini led a group of eminent chiefs to find lasting solutions to the Dagbon crisis. Assessing the stewardship of the Asante Hini, some indigenous of the Ashanti region lauded his contribution to national development. Providing educational assistance to the needy. We have several talented kids in this world who, because of broken home, because of poverty in their various homes, they have not been able to pay their school fees. But through the Otun for Scholarship, they have had the benefit, and some of them have become doctors, lawyers, and judges through Otun for intervention. He had brought some reforms, and at the heart of it is the education foundation that he set up. So many people over the last 20 years have benefited immensely from his leadership. Otunfo Osetutu de Asantehine, you know, demonstrates his vision long before presidents and others, you know, uh, uh, talked about education or educating his people. He, he, he had led from the front. Otunfo has really done well for Ghana as a nation and then especially for the kingdom of Ashanti. If I were to tell you what he did for governments, uh, because as a regional minister I was part, uh, the Dabon issue, the hippie time and everything I knew and I was there. So he's done a lot. Only sometimes you see Afrini Pankasa. The Tunfo is doing so well. It's, 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 a, it's a masterpiece of tradition and a culture and married with development. I think that's the way to go. And I want to encourage the other uh, the, the traditional authorities. I mean, even though they are doing well, but uh, the, the, the kind of modernity that is added to the traditions and customs is something that we need to encourage all other traditional authorities to be able to also to take their, 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 their cultures also up. The Asante Hini climaxed the celebration of his 20 years on the Golden Stool at Akusidaikese on Sunday, April 21.